welcome back to my channel so i thought i haven't really like vlogged or picked up the camera in ages and i just fancy doing it because i feel like when you've been like away from the camera for a while it just makes you like get back into the groove of things so i thought a weekly vlog is perfect plus i know for a fact that i love watching other people's vlogs because i'm really nosy so i thought why not just be nosy into my life do you know what i mean so this week is actually really jam-packed, so it's actually going to be a really good vlog. Um, I'm going to a Charlotte Tilbury Masterclass, which I am looking forward to so, so much. I've got a fill-in, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, I'm going to an interior design networking event. And, and, tonight I am going live on Instagram for the first ever time, and I am so excited. I'm a little bit nervous, like 5% nervous, but the other, like 95%, I'm like so excited for. Um, so I'm doing a style and surgery, and basically, the reason I'm doing it is because the amount of DMs I get asking for like style and help, which I'll always help with, don't get me wrong, um, is crazy. And I thought, you know what, let's bring everyone together, a, a proper good vibes night. And plus, by the time people have asked questions, you'll probably learn more, get a bit of inspiration for your own home. Um, and also just connect with like new people as well. I love that aspect of Instagram, being able to talk to people in the comments in a live, especially like I just love that aspect of it. And plus, I get to answer your questions and help you in any way that I can, which I love as well. Love helping people with interior design. Love interior design. Love helping you with interior design. So any style and queries, I will be answering. But also, there's going to be like such a huge announcement on there, which obviously no one knows, but will know by now when this goes live. But I'm doing my very first in-person masterclass. <laughs> like, what? I've literally, I kid you not, been manifesting this for about three years, literally before the pandemic. I've wanted to do that. This is something I've wanted to do for so long. Now, it is going to be in Liverpool, but I know for a fact that a lot of my followers aren't from Liverpool, which is totally understandable. If you're from Liverpool and you'd love to see this, do let me know um, down below in the comments um, where you're from and where you'd like me to do masterclass next. But honestly, you guys... I am like emotional over this actually finally happening. I love styling, I love answering anyone's questions and I love giving my knowledge. You know, previously I've been able to do that over here on YouTube when I was working at HomeSense. Again, that was never that was never insinuated by them. I chose to do that. Oh, I'm not going to speak about this on this because I keep saying that I'm going to do a video as to why I left HomeSense, which I will do. I just still haven't got around to it because again, I've got a list as long as my arm to get through um but now i definitely will do that i might film that this week actually but anyway anyway um the reason i've done this is because obviously you know i've been styling for for years and i've learned so much especially through my job and everything else and i just want to give the both the knowledge that i have and also the practical knowledge to everyone so it is going to be a very hands-on masterclass. it's going to be obviously like learning writing stuff down all that sort of thing but also it's going to be a practical styling lesson as well. I'm also going to help you how to take photos of maybe your styling, obviously at the venue, but also when you will be able to take the skills back home so that when you're photographing at home to put onto your own social media, it might help you. It's literally for literally be anyone to come to this event, by the way. You don't need to be skilled in any way. You can literally just be someone who wants to get into interior design. You can maybe have bought your new, a new home that you want to get into. Maybe you're on Instagram and you just need a bit of help. Literally anything... If this this masterclass is for you and i am so excited like ah, oh, i'm so excited i love meeting new people and the fact that i'll be meeting my followers as well and teaching you is oh it's just everything is reason to have more i'll just leave the link anyway down below if you're not on my mailing list then you need to get on it that's basically giving you a hint do you know what i mean so make sure you get on it but anyway i am going for lunch um and then i'm coming back and doing work and filming for youtube before the live tonight which i'm excited for so yeah that's that um, i feel like your outfit doesn't look barbie from the top but i've got do you see the bright pink trainers I feel like it looks vibey, but from the top it just doesn't look vibey. But yeah, anyway, I'm going for lunch. And also, just a quick one as well, I've used that new Refi um, lip kit. Would recommend. We'll also leave that linked. I got shade Taupe. Oh my god, it's got like this like set and glue. And I thought, is this too good to be true? I'm wrong. But yeah, I'm starving and I'm running late. So yeah, let's go see you in a minute. So I am officially world's worst vlogger. And now I'm not in the Mediterranean, unfortunately. Well, actually not, unfortunately, because how lucky am I to have this beautiful view behind me on a vlog. Um, so basically, I've just been for lunch. Did I ever film any of it? No. Did I take any photos of my food? No. Am I world's worst vlogger? Yeah. And tonight is my live. You're going to be seeing that. I'm excited, but I'm a little bit nervous now because I'm thinking, imagine if, like, literally no one comes on this live and I'm just sitting there talking to myself. 
that would be very awkward um but the sun's gorgeous it's good vibes i'm positive i am a good manifester i am trusting the universe that it's all gonna go well so yeah there's no worries um so i'm just gonna enjoy the sun but the next time i'll see you i'll be tuning into the live excited and nervous all at once but if you did come onto the live and you're watching this now thank you so so much future tense and um, for joining us and i hope you are going to join me on my master class as well behind the scenes of the live i am so nervous i've been fine all day it's literally six minutes to go and i don't know why i've gone proper nervous all of a sudden first i don't know why i'm nervous i'm thinking i'm either nervous because i'm fearful that no one will show up to it which would be very embarrassing i mean i know a few people are but you know what i mean and then secondly i don't know do you know what mad like i can do youtube and podcasting go on my stories but knowing that people are actually live behind that instant fear all of a sudden that's not like me gosh breaking everything um yeah so i'm a bit nervous now <laughs> what am i doing no this is good i'm going outside my comfort zone i haven't gone out outside my comfort zone in a while but i'm excited to announce the masterclass as well because it's just something that i just can't wait to do i have been wanting to do for so long as i said earlier so yeah i'm gonna pop you over here anyway and um you can watch us watch us live recording over here oh my god use if anyone does follow me on Instagram and tuned into that live, it went so well. I loved every minute of it. I'm definitely going to be doing more. I think it might be a one-to-one -one thing. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely make sure you are. I'm currently on the biggest high ever after that. Like I feel like I need to like, you know, when you're just gassing for ages over like for interior styling. Um, I'm trying to save it currently to my Instagram TV. So yeah, that's the thing I'm having now. But it's now half past eight. It did run over. My makeup's probably hanging off. But honestly, I love every minute. So well, I feel so happy. You know when something goes dead well, I feel really happy. It went, it went great. Um. So yeah, I'm in the best mood ever. Thank you anyone on here who's tuned in. If you wanna make sure you get tickets, oh, pampers flying everywhere. If you wanna get tickets for the masterclass, I will leave it down below. But yeah, that's me clocking off for the night. Tomorrow I'm getting my lashes done. I'm also going to the Charlotte Tilbury masterclass. So I'll check with him with you tomorrow. Honestly, I'm in the most grateful mood ever. I am so happy. I love what I do. Happy Tuesday. So I'm just on my way to the Charlotte Tilbury makeup masterclass. And I'm running so, so lately. I should have left 15 minutes ago. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I've got on. So I've got these flare jeans from Zara. I've got my Burberry belt on. I've got my Zara blazer, Zara shirt. And then an R styled um, misguided top. But yeah, I'm running late. I'm really looking forward to it. And I, and I will show you everything when I get there. So yeah, see you in a minute. filling so if i smile i've had to let it tone down before i even like started filming this video literally couldn't even smile i am terrified of the dentist i've been dreading it all week just feel like now and again like i had a bit of a lisp do you know what i mean and my hair's really bothering me today it's just gone really like explosive to this morning so i need to sort that out but enough of that my skin is really fresh got no makeup on <laughs> love that for me but anyway that's not why i'm here to moan it's a lovely wednesday positive vibes and here's my charlotte tilbury goodies because last night's masterclass was amazing so i don't know whether i explain properly what it was but basically it was like a um charlotte tilbury masterclass i can't see i can't speak i'm sorry in advance um charlotte tilbury masterclass um they did like show you how to do your makeup which by the way i've been doing wrong for the longest time 
obviously like makeup's important but the skin prep beforehand i don't think i've been doing as best as it could be um especially with specific products and the way to go about it and things like that so i definitely will be putting into my routine now so i'm glad i went because it's that that's how you get the glossy finish i'm no makeup artist by the way and i never will be but i just like to put makeup on from time to time so just letting you know i'm never going to be a makeup artist so don't think oh she yeah, yeah that's not me i'm not a makeup artist never will be and, and that's okay I can deal with that, do you know what I mean? But anyway, got some gorgy goodies. Um, obviously I did buy these and got a few samples, so I'll let you know which is which. But as well, at the beginning, the girl who she was doing the makeup on, by the way, the makeup artists from Charlotte Tilby Liverpool were lovely. Um, her name was Christine, so shout out to Christine. She was the loveliest person ever. This mask on right, and I know people were talking about it and it was getting like mixed reviews and I nearly bought it and I didn't because I think I want to do my research first. They had like the overnight mask they put in the freezer. I will link it below. Um, and I think I'm going to buy it. I think it's like £45. But oh my God. So like when you've got a hangover, anything, you just pop it on for 10 minutes. And his skin was like, just all like, you know, like alive. And I thought, hungover, face mask, feeling alive. Sign me up. Do you know what I mean? So I'm thinking I'm going to buy that to be honest with you. Firstly, let's talk about our samples. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which I already use. Now, I know it's expensive cream and it's got like mixed reviews, but honestly, I literally could not recommend this cream enough. I love it. Like at the moment, my skin, I've got a few blemishes only because it's my diet personally. Like I suffer. Like if I have a lot of milk, like obviously I'm, I am vegan. So like the reason I am vegan, by the way, I just like to, to put it out there, is not due to... Um, animals it's due to health reasons because honestly basically i've done all my research anyway i don't want to bore you i'll do a separate video if you want me to but when i have anything animal related to eat my skin's awful like i've got a few bits of scar in there from the past few months because over christmas i had chocolate like real chocolate not vegan chocolate and my skin pays for it and literally when i'm fully vegan my skin used to be horrendous so Anyway, life story over. I went with my mum as well. I forgot to say that. Um, it was actually a Mother's Day um, Charlotte Tilbury makeup masterclass. So it was like a bring your mum along. So I went with me with my mum. She fully deserved a lovely Mother's Day, and that's what she got. Even if it was two days later. Um, I also got the Pillow Talk lipstick. Now, hear good things about this. I'm currently using the Refi new lip kit, which wow, by the way, game changer. If you're not already onto it. But look how gorgy the shade is. Like, wow, hello. By the way, I've got a little freckle on my hand. Isn't that cute? I feel like people presume it's chocolate. It's not, it's a freckle. Lipstick itself, wow. I feel like I know Charlotte Tilbury now that I've been to Charlotte Tilbury's mask class just because she was telling you so much about Charlotte Tilbury and like what she does, how she's made her makeup and things like that. And I was like, <laughs> me and Charlotte are basically besties now. She obviously wasn't there. I'm just letting you know. But yeah. Um, and then they also give us two lip glosses. Now, I've never, I didn't know that they did the lip glosses and I I wear Charlotte, by the way, I wear Charlotte Tilbury products, so like, um, and this is not an advertisement, this is just because I wanted to show you. Just thought to put that out there because you can never be too sitting around here, do you know what I mean? Um, but we got two of the lip glosses. So one is say, Shade Seduction, excuse the filling happening, like, you know, the stuttering of words. One Seduction and one Blondie. Um, I'm presuming that's Seduction. Oh, sorry, no, that's Blondie, so that's got a bit of a glitter to it, a little bit of a sheen. I'm going to have that one, and we're going to have the plain one. I'm going to have one each because we're just cute like that. Then I got a Charlotte Tilbury pencil sharpener. Reason being is we've got the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners and I didn't think of this. Every lip liner is obviously made differently and like could be wood, could be whatever. And you should use the sharpener that you've got for the liners if that makes sense. Um, so I got this as well um, because I'm breaking me me lip liners and that's why because i'm not using the right products with the right tools and things like that which i didn't realize and probably should have thought about so yeah um, i got that then i got the magic serum now i already used the magic cream and i didn't actually use the serum and when she used it on the girl in um, the model honestly a proper what like brightened her face and i feel like sometimes i'm scared of using like oily products because i've got oily skin well i kind of got combo skin but it's very it can be oily in like my t-zone and i feel like i'm scared of oily products but i probably shouldn't be well i shouldn't be so i got this as well um i can't believe by the way i'm doing a makeup haul with no makeup on i actually feel mortified <laughs> but i've had to fill in so can everyone just feel sorry for me for like five minutes um and then i got another um sorry now my mum got the airbrush flawless 
filter foundation i use this this is like me going out makeup um like day to day or like um day to day i'd wear the ordinary foundation just because it's really light on the skin and for going out i'd use the head brush flawless but my mum got this one she got shade for neutral i think i use six neutral just because if i've got tan on it's just got that bit more darkness to it as we're probably if i was doing day to day and went for this i'd probably maybe go for four neutral but yeah it's uh, i can't recommend this foundation enough yeah that's like my mini haul um to share with you i just thought to share that i'm currently life story i'm currently waiting for the electrician um i've got a podcast to watch over today to make sure everything's good ready for april the 11th monday april the 11th when it will be going um live over here and also on everything else if you don't know i have a podcast called mind of an interior designer i'm gonna go and maybe just get this sorted out i can't believe i'm doing this video with a filler but i am real with you do you know what i mean it's basically my little mini haul i'll leave everything um down below and if i do get my hands on the mask this week i'll let you know as well because to be honest with you yeah, i think i might do but yeah anyway see you in a minute hey everyone how are we all happy friday now i've literally just washed my hair by the way because i'm going to an interior event like a networking event at 12 it's now quarter past 11 yes and i'm absolutely nowhere near ready the camera pure died so i've just had to um run down and get a new battery good job i realized before the event um so yeah i never came on here yesterday right reason being by the way i'm using those two new charlotte tilbury products well this isn't new but you know what i mean and it's really really good um anyway the reason I never came on here yesterday was because um, I had a little bit of a nightmare. Well, I was I was working, doing stuff, obviously ready for the launch of the in-person masterclass. But also, I lost a tooth. <laughs> a tooth. I'm 24. I lost a tooth, right? I actually feel ashamed showing you, but I feel acting my smile line, and I feel ashamed to even go to this event. But can you see that? <laughs> no. I am ashamed. So basically, I've had like a couple of fillings and things, but that one was like at its worst, and I was just terrified to get a needle in it. And I'd only just be, I literally went for a filling and I on Wednesday, and this was the last one they needed to do. And I've just been like avoiding it, avoiding it. It's obviously got worse, and I didn't know. And I literally, because I did a fill on that side, I was overcompensating eating on that side, and a bit into, um, I need to get ready whilst I'm talking to you. By the way, you're just running so late. Um, yeah, so I literally bit on a crisp and my tooth snapped off. So I have no tooth there, but I have like all like the insides of a tooth, so to speak. Um, so yeah, I literally cried. I was like down in the middle all yesterday, like practicing my smile. Like honestly, it's embarrassing. I'm going to the races next week, so I rang the dentist. And I was like crying, like I lost my tooth. And um, I'm going on Monday. So I mean, I'm no dentist used, but can they put a new tooth in like anything just give me something i know it's hardly noticeable but because my face is like on the screen like on videos or like stories i feel like you can see that i've got a gap <laughs> no it's actually embarrassing anyway that's that that's funny isn't it it's like just i literally had a breakdown yesterday and i was like so i didn't even do anything on my instagram i literally just i felt mortified i had to just step away <laughs> like i'm done and dressed one sec so the outfit I've picked was literally so unintentional, but it's a vibe. Like, the weather outside looks sunny, but let me tell you, it is freezing. It's like four degrees with sun. So I'm wearing this old top from Zara with like the feather effect. And also this old blouse from Zara. I say old, it's like probably like two years old, both of these. A pair of leather shorts, my Burberry belt and my black Gucci tights. Because let's be honest, they've already got a slit in them, so I'm not paying about £700 for tights that are just gonna get ruined um and then i just blew my hair as well. ended up picking the ordinary foundation i don't know how that's gonna photograph well oh my hair do you know when your hair is just not sitting right you it's like i just feel like it's a bit like yeah a bit flat so that's annoying but yeah i'm i'm just gonna have to go because it's literally yeah it's 20 past 12 we're supposed to be there 20 minutes given the drive's 40 minutes in <laughs> an hour late fashionably late some would say by the way the haul is still getting done so ignore that um but yeah i'm gonna bring his with me to the event now and i'm so
amazing little interior networking event. I've literally just ate, by the way, so if my lipstick is non-existent, it's because it's not. Um, but we keep it real on this channel, as you all know. Um, yeah, so I just got back and I just came home to the best delivery ever. So I've been waiting for this for ages. The lovely Becky who runs um, the most gorgeous home account by the way on instagram i'll link it below and um, my house is amazing and um, she actually has written well would you say written it's a planner so yeah she's written her own planner so to speak and um, it's called the interior the interiors planner and she's kindly sent me one and i am so excited so i'm gonna open it live here on the channel um oh my god how insane is that it's like a linen cover this is literally the first time i've seen this Oh my god, sick. Oh, she smashed it. No, she's actually smashed it. Oh, I love it. So she's done a little, see that, dream it. So use a space to create a vision board of what your home will look like. And then she's got like do it, so like a space to like write your list for decorating. She's got a list for like your trades, people, interior inspo, project plan pages. Oh, I love this. Project planner, floor planner, mood board, brainstorming, project budget. As you all know, we do go off that quite a little bit. Important measurements. Oh my God, she's literally covered everything in this book. And is this not like the perfect coffee table book? Because <laughs> this is definitely my vibe. But honestly, she is the kindest person ever. She's literally sent me one. And there's all the socials. Can you see them? If you can't, I'm going to link them below anyway. Honestly, grab yourselves one of these. I literally, like, it was so kind of the same one. If you wouldn't have had bought one anyway, to be honest with you. Um, she's worked so hard on it, and it's gorgeous. Look at that. Even just as a coffee table book. Eh, thank you so much for sending me this, Becky, if you're watching. I hope you are. Um, but, yeah, I'm absolutely made up with this. But, yeah, that event that I've just been to was lovely. And the sun is shining now, but it's still cold. It's such weird weather in Liverpool, I swear. I don't know whether it's just like that throughout the whole UK. I do not know, but it's been a mad one this week. Um, I think I'm going to go out tonight and then tomorrow... I'm just going to do some work, so yeah, I will probably catch up with you over the weekend. If you are all good this lovely Sunday that you'll be watching this vlog, outfit in check. I feel like I really like this outfit and it's like, do I wear this tonight or do I wear something that fresh? And I'll probably have to redo my makeup as well because it's half hanging off. But yeah, life story over. Speak to you in a minute.